umami. One of the five basic tastes. It's the word that's used to describe the savory taste. Now I've done videos where I talk about umami and one particular video that I talked about was MSG. See, you taste to umami through receptors on your tongue that respond to glutamates. Now natural occurring glutamates are in pretty much everything that has like a savory or rich taste from broths and stocks, sauces, seafood, meat, cheese, tomatoes, mushrooms. Umami glutamate is in a lot. Now the quickest way to add glutamates or umami to any dish is by adding MSG. But some people don't want to use MSG and some people are sensitive to it. And there's a huge debate around its safety. I stand on one side of it, and from the comments that I got on that MSG video, there is a lot of people that stand on the other side of it. But what if you wanted to add that magical umami punch that you get from MSG without adding MSG? Sure, you can add mushrooms or sun-dried tomatoes, you can add a bunch of different foods, but that's gonna realistically change a lot of the textures. And mushrooms by themselves aren't gonna impart their seasoning on other foods. And that's where you end up with mushroom seasoning. Now when you're talking about mushroom seasonings, you usually end up talking about a few different products. Now there's the Trader Joe's mushroom seasoning, which is pretty good, but essentially that's just a very simple dried mushroom. There's also the Singapore Brands mushroom seasoning. Now this package is very popular and it is used in a lot of recipes and a lot of different foods. This is something that you're gonna see pretty often at your hot pot recipe and it's most likely used in a lot of their broths. Now another mushroom seasoning that comes up quite a bit is vegetarian seasoning. Vegetarian seasoning is also found in a lot of different vegan foods and a lot of different meat replacements. Vegetarian seasonings has a very high uh, umami flavor and it lists that it has no MSG, but the vegetarian seasoning includes an ingredient called nucleotide seasoning. Now the nucleotide seasoning is actually created by the same company that created MSG, Ajinomoto. I know I pronounced that wrong in my MSG video. Thanks for all the corrections. I know it's Ajinomoto. Now, nucleotide seasoning, even though it is not MSG, it complements MSG to boost the umami or savory flavors. The nucleotide seasoning is not gonna do you that much better because it also surrounds with the same amount of controversy. And that's why today we're gonna be talking about the mushroom seasoning. These little pellets are going to pack a ton of umami flavor. The pellets themselves have a ton of flavor versus MSG when you taste them, they're pretty tasteless. So let's run through some of the uses and I'll show you a few simple ways that you can use this to add flavor to your food. Now the mushroom seasoning itself is pretty simple. It's mushroom powder, salt, and mushroom extract. There's not a whole lot in here. It's just dehydrated mushrooms, powdered up, mushroom extract added to add that extra punch of mushroom and salt. Now the back of the package here says that the mushroom seasoning is made with the best selected materials and most advanced ingredient extracting technology. The new formulation of this not only delivers rich mushroom flavoring, but also it helps enhance the taste of your dishes. Now you would think that this would just taste like just an overload of mushroom, but realistically, it just has a really rich savory punch to it. Now here on the back of the package, it says to add it to dim sum, hot pots, marinades and stir fries, seafoods and stews. Let's open it up, we'll take a look at this. Now essentially what this is, is just combined little granules that were probably extracted through an extrusion machine. Now it says one serving is about one gram, and I would say it's pretty, it's pretty strong, so you're not gonna need a whole lot. Now if you were to just take the seasoning here and just taste it by itself, almost kind of salty, but more than salt. It almost has kind of like a beef broth type of stock taste to it. There's no smell in the dry granule here. It gives you that MSG punch without adding any sort of like the thirst factor or possible headache factor that you might encounter. It's just mushrooms. Now a really simple way to use it is by turning it into a broth. I'm gonna add one teaspoon, which is gonna be about a gram with just a touch of water. And once you stir it up, you now have this very rich, very savory mushroom broth that you can use as a flavor component to add to a dish. And it really is very, 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 very mushroom-like broth. And it has a very, very rich, very good taste to it. But then also has, surprisingly, the trick of the flavor is it kind of tricks your head into almost a chicken broth type of taste. So I'll tell you right now, after tasting this, because of that chicken-like taste, I'm gonna be using this in the future for any of my veggie chickens that I make or vegan chickens and see if it really ups the chicken flavor because just by itself, this kind of tastes like a chicken broth, like a chicken veggie broth. It's like a nice mix. It's very surprising, very shocking. Now, another one of the uses is just as a simple seasoning. 
Now, since it's already pretty salty, I'm just gonna add the mushroom seasoning to a pestle and mortar here. And then you could just add any flavors that you want. Like I'm gonna add just a little bit of garlic powder, maybe a touch of like smoked paprika, a few chili flakes. And we're just gonna grind these up into a nice powder. And then once you have that powder, you can add that to whatever you want. It's really good on some popcorn. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Monica just to test this so she can just, just a reaction. I just wanna see her reaction with the umami powder. That's really good. Really good. I love it's that. Really good. Mm. So uh, I've added MSG to our popcorn before. Mm -hmm. What do you think, this or MSG? Oh my God, that. Like so much more of that. So good. It's wild. I'm gonna keep eating it. Okay, her. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, baby. <laughs> So another way to use it without using MSG is by using it in your instant noodle soups. I'm just gonna add a bit of the mushroom seasoning to my soup without any of the packet mixture. It's just the cooked noodles, so just the cooked noodles and the water. And then you end up with a really great, simple umami broth. Wow that's better than the packet. Now, this is a little less salty. It is very mushroomy. And then you can doctor it up how you like. Personally, me, I like to add a bit. I just added a ton of chili oil and a little five spice and some sesame seeds. And then you end up with an awesome instant soup that is loaded with flavor, tons of flavor. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's so good. So like I said, this has a ton of uses. You can really add a serious savory flavor using this without using any MSG. It's really good. You can find this in most Asian markets, but I'll leave a link in the description below for my Amazon store where you could pick this up. I'm gonna be testing over the next few weeks, adding this to some of my veggie meats and seeing if it really boosts the, the meaty type of flavor in like burgers or chicken flavored things. I'm gonna see if I can add this to some seitan and see what it does, see if it really boosts that seitan right out of the gate. I think it really is going to, and I'm excited to try that out. But that's it, this is the mushroom seasoning. It is really cool. The MSG replacement for everybody that didn't wanna use MSG. And after today's trial, I kinda like it a little bit better than MSG. So all the names that you see scrolling over here on the side, these are the members of the Sauce Squad. You can join the Sauce Squad for only a buck a month. Get your name on this list, join all the new members. I've had a bunch of new members lately, so really, I appreciate all of you guys. You're all seriously awesome. Thanks for joining, I appreciate you too. And if you haven't yet, make sure you click the subscribe button and click this video right here. It's probably gonna be my MSG video.